Hey there, this is Tim along with my partner Kelly. We're Paragon Partners. And in this video, I'm gonna go over my last 30 eBay sales. Actually, I think I have one or two more, so it might be 31 or 32. Oops, let me back up. The, um, you've been following me, uh, you know my sales are down. The, I hit a high point of about 19,500 uh, monthly average. Now I'm about two thirds of that. Um, variety of factors. I don't, we haven't bought as much, so we don't have as much list. We don't have the same desirable products. Uh, and I think it's post-summer slowdown as well. On this first item, you know, I seem to have hit a sweet spot. I've sold a lot of these old 35 millimeter lenses at $17.99. Um, of course, the lens pros, they ask a lot of very particular questions. want to know if they have any fungus on them and about the scratches. And as long as the lenses are good and clear, I, I, I've moved a couple of these now at this price point. So I've been doing well. Uh, I got these out of a big camera lot from somebody else and I bought the whole lot for like 40 bucks. So I've already made my money back on them. Um, these speakers, th um, I think I got these at the thrift store at the 50% off sale. So that means I probably got them for a few bucks. Uh, normally I'm a little iffy on speakers, so I'm surprised I did as good of these. Uh, a lot of times they're beat up, and a lot of times they're replacement. Someone takes out the old crappy speakers out of their car, and they replace them with good ones. Um, but so these I did all right on. Uh, this one I ended up selling is actually more for like seventeen bucks. I took a best offer, but my partner he brought in a bunch of baby alive dolls, and I'm I'm generally skeptical of toys and dolls in particular. Uh, but I noticed the baby alive dolls were actually doing good so i took them all and then when i got done listing the dolls i had all these accessories left over and I thought well geez why don't instead of putting them together with the dolls i'll just make my own lot and s sell the lot and the lot uh, is actually doing better than the dolls itself so i'm, g I'm glad i did this uh this was uh, co-signed the a lot of times on these power chargers, I haven't had the same luck. I bought a lot of these from the thrift store for a couple bucks each. And usually I'm lucky if I can sell them for 15 when I buy them for like about three bucks. Uh, but this one did all right. This one, uh, you've been following me. You know, I've mentioned how I bought a big lot of these at the swap meet for like about five bucks each. The um, This one I did sell for 35 the of course is on the promoted listing as long as i say it's new sealed expired then i'm doing good on these i notice also on these you have to give a lot of free shipping because all the competition gives free shipping so the market is pretty well established at that point uh you may see i bought a big lot of these machining tools i took a 25 dollar best offer on these uh they're heavy but i can send it priority padded for a fixed price which is nice uh, and man, I got a huge lot. I got hundreds of these. So I got to put them all together in some intelligent collection and put them together now. This one I ended up taking a $13 best offer on. This came out of the thrift store. And actually, I may have gone too low. When I was packaging this, I noticed it came out of Bed Bath & Beyond. And it had a $40 price tag. And I remember originally when I got this, I wanted to give it to Amazon. But it turns out the uh, this was a gated category. So I couldn't put it over there. Uh, so I didn't do my best on this one, or as well as I would have liked. Uh, I had a bunch of toner that was just miscellaneous. It was too small to sell by itself. So I just threw it all together in one lot, and I was happy to uh, get rid of it. I sold all this for 8 bucks. One of these was some third-party replacement as well. Other, other of these were out of the package. So uh, individually, they're all kind of crappy, but together they moved. Now, this one I was really surprised on. I took a $110 best offer on this. And I got this some months ago at an auction. And I remember I looked it up. I think I got it for like 7 bucks or so. And I realized it had value. But, of course, I don't know plumbing parts. And I put this up there. And, like I said, it took a couple months, but I got 110 bucks. That said, I put a lot of other plumbing parts up there, and they haven't moved. So this is the only one I've had a good hit on. Uh, this one I, I was surprised on. The, the telephones, I've been getting a little bit of a second life on it. This one I had listed months and months ago, and I'd kind of forgotten about it. It was way back in one of my cartons, and I was just glad to get rid of it. Some of these others, when I have the full lots, when I have this and like four phones, I could get 20 to 30 bucks on them. 
this one I sold for fifty dollars on consignment as well. Uh, this did pretty w uh, well. The we it sold in fact in a couple of days. Here's another lot. I sold this lot for thirty dollars on a best offer, and like I say, it w these work a lot better when you have the memory card, the battery, and the charger to go with it. Then I did all right. Actually, this doesn't take a memory chip. This is so old it takes a floppy disk. This one, um, uh, this is the second time I sold it. The first guy who bought it was a deadbeat buyer. He didn't pay, so I relisted it, and I got exactly the same price. Now, these were really heavy to ship. I was surprised. But I bought a bunch of uh, laptops at an auction, and these came out of a school district. So, of course, they were beat up. They were missing parts. Uh, though they had hard drives, the hard drives have been wiped, so no OS on them. So they were all nominal. They all had some issues, and at, I got 50 bucks for them. I only paid like 3 bucks each. This one, uh, I, I was a little surprised I didn't do better on. I had this huge lot of film, and this film, it's actually very stable over the decades. I thought, well, geez, man, this f film, it's rare. Of course, they're not making it anymore. So I thought I'd do it somewhat better on this. I thought this would go for 40 to $50 even. Uh, nonetheless, I'm happy I got it. I got this at an auction and only, I think I paid, I may have paid like about 10 bucks for it. So I doubled my money, but it wasn't quite the hit I hoped for. This one we sold for 80 and this came up a big surplus lot that my partner bought and it's just one of the items in there. Uh, we found it, cleaned it up and got it listed and this took about two months to sell but we got 80 for it here's another one of those lenses i've been talking about same price 18 dollars this one came with the case i don't think it helped the value any uh, and this is of a, a big camera lot that i purchased here's some more this worked uh i threw everything together uh, this had the manual it had the flash but i had an auto rewinder that came with it in its case this was an old style 35 millimeter camera and you can see i got 26 for it not bad and then this is uh canon aes i've done better on these than other models as well sometimes i get into the pentax models and those also do good well man this one i took a hit on so i've seen old newspapers do good and so i thought well okay i'll go ahead i'll give it a try so i sold it and i put it in an auction Actually, didn't take off. It did nine nine nine. Did nothing. So last attempt, we sold it for ninety nine cents, and it did nothing. And then I only had a buck ninety nine on the shipping. Of course, uh, I had to put this in a big cardboard package. It cost more. So I definitely took a loss on this one, and I bought it for four bucks. This is uh, another one that came from a co-signer. Uh, we were able to get the full $35 out of this. Normally, I don't see saws do as well. And keep in mind, this had no battery as well. I sold this entire lot for 20 And these were a bunch of radios from that same surplus lot that we just gathered up. None of them had working batteries or had the power adapters to go with them. So I was just happy to get rid of them. And just as like many other eBayers do, or sellers that is, uh, I take a bunch of old working items of questionable value that are not working. They buy themselves out and sell, but you lot them up and then you can move them. Here's one, this hammer drill. I did get the full 50 bucks for it. came out of the same consigner. And this one also had a nice battery that worked with it. So we got this one going. Now, I bought a big lot. Well, I shouldn't say big, about 10 of these. Uh, new in box bed sheets the and i got them all for five bucks a pop and i bought about 10 of them i was hoping to put them on amazon but none of them are listable on amazon so i've had to put them on ebay i took a 40 dollar best offer on this one and I, I, I was glad to get it sold also this was really easy to ship since i just had to put it in the bag of course you can't damage cloth this one I did get twenty bucks for is rain gear, and this uh, another one at the auction was just some leftover that nobody else wanted, and I think I got it for like a buck. Uh, I got the full twenty for it, so I was happy. Uh, this one my partner uh, gave me it came out of his storage locker, and an old uh, Apple Newton 
no battery or charger, but it had the mem card in case. We took a $15 offer on it, and we took it and got it out. And this, in fact, we had it less than a day before we were able to flip it. Uh, you see me. I've sold a couple of these so far. I'm down to my last ones. These have been selling very consistently between $30 and $35, these signature pads. And we picked up a lot of about eight of them out of that same surplus sale. Uh, this one, I sold two of these, and this came off a consigner, and we'd been holding on to these for a couple of months, and they weren't selling. My partner finally knocked down the price, and we were able to move some of them. So I'm glad I was able to get two of them out. This one, I may have actually underpriced. I put it up uh, for $29.99, buy it now, best offer, and someone paid me full price. Which is a huge lot of vintage computer chips. And I had no way to evaluate these in terms of their age, memory, or capacity. So I threw it up there. But perhaps, uh, perhaps with more research, there might have been a gem in here that I'll let go. This uh, same code signer, we sold this for a uh, full 50 bucks. Uh, good digital item. This is another one that went for $50 from the same consigner. Uh, another piece of audio equipment. Same consigner. We took a $15 bid on this one. This didn't have the battery. And I noticed the reciprocating saws. They just don't seem to do as well as the other power tools. Perhaps people don't use them as much. This one I took a $35 best offer on. And this came out of an auction. We only paid a couple of bucks for it. Now, this had no chip in it, nor did it have the power supply. And that's okay, because a lot of times people, they already have these, and then the unit itself fails. So they have all the accessories that go with it, and they just want to get the replacement for cheap. So that's what this one did. I was able to flip this one less than a day after listing it. Okay, well, last item. So this, of course, we're really happy with. This came from the consigner, and we put this online for a best offer. We kept on getting all these lowball bids. Finally, somebody gave us a serious bid, and my partner and him jostled around for a bit. We settled on 425 on the Sonos soundbar. And anything on Sonos, I've done very, very good on. So we're happy with the sale. All right, that's it. Uh, you hear this at the end of every video. Please like, comment, and subscribe to us, and we very much appreciate it. Cheers.